We started using the Centron about three years ago, and actually one of the uh, the first sets we used to know was Aaron Murray. Uh, Aaron Murray was an uh, all-conference quarterback for us, and unfortunately towards ACL, a similar non cutting mechanism on senior night. And uh, obviously he had NFL draft aspirations, and his big priority was to try to get ready as quick as he could for pro day. And uh, we were able to rehab him very aggressively and had a great outcome, but that was really my first experience with the Centron. One of the things I like about the Ascentron is it gives us the ability to do eccentric exercise in a very controlled environment. One of the things you think about rehab is we want it to be functional. And so many of the things that we do in sports are eccentric contractions, but unfortunately most of the things we've done in rehab in the past have been concentric. And do they really correlate taking somebody back to function? Uh, so we can be very aggressive on it. It individualizes to the person. Uh, we can teach force control. We can control range of motion, and it's also very objective. I can give them feedback instantly on, on what they're doing that day. Is also, uh, we, can, we can keep documentation, show them how they're progressing. So uh, from my standpoint, it's been very functional for us. And I think a big point too is force control. I think that's really important to rehab is not only teaching them, you know, when you've got somebody who's very, very explosive, they have a tendency to want to hit everything as hard and fast as they can. And sometimes that's not what you want to do in rehab. So having the ability to teach and force control is really important. I think it gives us a way that we can aggressively do eccentric exercise in a safe manner. Uh, we can control the range of motion. We can control the force to the degree that we want it to. And uh, we can be objective with it. You know, documentation is important today. And, and uh, I think it's important for not only the clinician, but the athlete to see how they're progressing. So if he can see where he's at every day, hey, I was 98% compliant on there. You know, I was 94% last session, I'm doing better. Or, you know, we redosed him today, and hey, I did 150 foot pounds uh, today, and last time I was doing 125. So we, he can see objectively how it's progressing. Uh, if you have somebody with any type of a musculoskeletal injury, particularly like a chronic tendonitis, this is a great way to load them and be very, very safe with it. So we used it with a variety of different athletes and, and had outstanding results. So we have two main training rooms. We have one in football and one with Olympic sports. And we use extensively with our athletes. Uh, soccer is another sport where we have a high incidence of ACL injuries, as well as just general muscular injuries uh, with the low extremity. We use it very heavily there. Uh, basketball, both men's and women's with some tendonitis issues, I found it very helpful there. I think it's got a, a lot of uh, different attributes we can use it for and we use it across the board with all of our student athletes.